finally, the NBA Finals are coming upon us. In fact, I will be in Oakland Thursday night when they open. Uh, I have to admit, I've been looking forward to this probably for 11 months. You know, it was a month after the Cavs won the last one, and you could just see Kevin Durant signed with Golden State, and, you know, the, the two empires basically were getting ready to collide. And there are every reason to believe Golden State not only is the favorite, but should win. But that doesn't mean the Warriors will win. Big difference between should and will. In fact, Cleveland fans know all about that. 1995, the Indians should have been good enough to win the World Series, but they didn't. You know, the, the Braves did. On paper, you know, all the analytics sites, Vegas, everybody else is favoring the Warriors. So I said, okay, how does Cleveland pull this big upset? You know, number one, LeBron James has got to be LeBron James. I'm just going to leave it there. Number two, Kevin Durant's got to get freaked out a little bit against LeBron James. That has happened before. In fact, LeBron has an 18 and 5 record against Durant. 18 and 5. Of course, the difference is that most of those games were when Durant was with Oklahoma City, not when he was playing with Golden State with teammates like Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson. You know, all the stars they have there. So, but I do think LeBron can outplay Durant, and I think Durant will feel a lot of pressure, and I think that could be an issue. So that's one. LeBron's got to be LeBron. Two, Kyrie Irving's got to be the big-time Kyrie Irving. I wrote a column earlier in the week, very interesting to look at the Golden State website, listen to all the different interviews they have pumped in. This is where the Internet serves us well, and how much discussion there was about Kyrie Irving. It isn't that they believe Kyrie is better than LeBron, but Kyrie at his best, combined with LeBron being LeBron, scares them. That's that's how the Cavs can win. Kyrie has to have a very big time series and he's very capable of doing that. And then thirdly, this is a different one. You know, Kevin Love is a big part of their, you know, I say the big three. Kevin Love has got to not be the Kevin Love who averaged like 22 points against the Celtics and 10 rebounds. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Golden State is, it plays a smaller group of players, quicker. Kevin Love needs to play like he did in Game 7. Game 7, final score, Cleveland 93, Golden State 89. You look at the box door, you see Kevin Love, 9 points, 3 and 9 shooting. So what? But here's what you also, if you look a little deeper, Kevin Love, 14 rebounds. Game high, 14 rebounds. And when Kevin Love was on the floor... In those 30 minutes, the Cavs outscored Golden State by 19 points. Kevin Love, a plus 19. And he did it only scoring nine points. But he did it because he was defending like crazy, and he was all over the boards. And if you remember at the end, he's out there running out at uh, Steph Curry and forcing a miss on the three-point shot. You know, So Kevin Love is going to have to be giving up some of his offense to really concentrate on defense and rebounding. And what I would also do, if I were Tyron Lue, is rather than have Kevin Love chase Draymond Green all over the place, I would put him on Pachulia or whoever the other big man is. And let Tristan Thompson, who's one of their most valuable defenders for the Cavaliers, let him trace, uh, be all over Draymond Green. Because Green, you know, can handle the ball. He's athletic. And I thought last year Lou made a bit of a mistake asking Love to chase Green around. It's just a bad matchup. So here we go. You need LeBron to be LeBron. You need Kyrie Irving to be great. And you need Kevin Love to rebound and defend. If all that happens, it's the Cavs and Six.